welcome to the How to Film Weddings YouTube channel. My name is John Bunn and today is a fun one. I'm actually going to show you inside of a brand new product that we just are releasing for How to Film Weddings and it's called the Wedding Videographer's Guide to the Upsell. This is a 25 page PDF guideline for everything that I've done over the past 15 years to learn how to sell more when booking couples and sell more after booking the couples. It's the complete process from beginning to end. It's a brand new product. It's part of the complete wedding videography course launch, which is happening right now as we release this video. So if you're interested, be sure to check out the link in the description below, but I want to actually dive into the actual guide. There's a video that goes along with it. And I just want to show you the first little bit of this, just so you can get a taste of what we have in the course. Now, if it's not course week and you're watching this, just hit the link in the description and you can get on our wait list. But again, this is the actual guide that you get when you join the course. So let's go ahead and check that out. Welcome to the Wedding Videographer's Guide to the Upsell. Thank you for purchasing it or for purchasing the Complete Wedding Videography course. My name is John Bunn and I have been shooting weddings for well over 15 years. I've had thousands of consultations. I've worked with almost 600 couples at this point and I've learned a thing or two when it comes to selling wedding videography packages to couples. I've noticed that a lot of wedding videographers don't want to come across as too salesy or slick or slimy. They don't want that at all. So they just shy away completely from trying to sell to couples. Now, this is not a great plan for two reasons. Number one, you make more money when you sell more things. Number two, you might be limiting the couple from actually getting more products and services that they really want. So this guide is going to walk you through everything that I've learned over the last 15 years of shooting weddings and how to do it in such a way that you're not coming off as salesy and that you're actually guiding and serving the couple. So let's get into it. First, we want to define the problem. The main problem that I see with wedding videographers is that they are honestly just afraid of selling. They don't want to come across too salesy. They don't want to come across trying to take advantage of their couples. And if that is you, I completely understand. And this guide is going to help you to understand how you can confidently help your couples to see the value that you bring. The solution to this problem is to learn how to serve the couple as a guide. You want to guide them through the process and you don't want to ever sell them anything they don't really need. Some of the most common hesitations and myths that I see around this subject of upselling is that it's bad to try to sell or I feel gross if I'm trying to sell. And I'm here to tell you if that is you, you're just looking at it the wrong way. I will say this a hundred times. I am not here to try to get you to sell something that the couple does not want, but I want to show you how you can literally guide them into buying things that will really, really help them. Most wedding videographers get it wrong when they try to cram too much information down the throat of the couple. Maybe it's on their website, maybe it's in the first meeting, but they're just afraid of sales. They just wanna get it all out of the way and cram everything down their throats. The problem with that is the couple is not in a position to receive all of that and it might scare them away. Instead, you can learn to be a guide and walk them through a process that will help them understand what you offer and you don't have to book it all in the first meeting and you don't have to explain everything in the first meeting. Yes, you can answer questions and yes, you can be informational, but you don't wanna to try to tell them everything you can do in that first meeting or right when you're booking. It takes time to get to know them and what they want and you are the guide. And speaking of the guide, that is how we look at our wedding videography business. We are not the hero of the story, the couple is. And our job is to guide them into the best experience possible. Now, I have to give credit where credit is due. If you have not read the book, Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller, I take a lot of my process of sales from his book. I'd been doing a lot of the things before I had read his book, but this really brought it into focus for me. So put on a new pair of glasses, a new filter, if you will, that you are the guide for the couple. 
Everything you're doing for them is to help serve them and not serve you. If you do this long enough and you serve couples well through the entire process, you'll get yours, you'll make more money, and at the end of the day, the couple will be happier and want to refer you later, which is awesome. So let's start at the beginning. Let's start at your website. When you look at your website, does it help guide them in understanding who you are? Does it help them understand what services you offer or where you're located? Does your website make it really easy for them to reach out to you and schedule a call with you? If your website doesn't do this already, take a few minutes, look through your website and make sure that it is easy for them to understand who you are, who you serve, and what you're all about. Make it super easy for them to get to know you and to contact you. Your website should guide them and also it should repel people away that you don't need to be working with. You need to let them know the kinds of weddings that you want. You need to let them know the kind of couples you want. All of those things matter a ton. And again, with our new filter, this is going to help you understand how to guide people that should be contacting you from your website. And on your website, there should be an inquiry form. This is a form where they can reach out to contact you. Don't make this too overcomplicated. Don't make this too much work for them. Get some information, learn a little bit about them, and go from there. You don't have to learn every single detail about them in this form, but you do want to get their names, you want to get where their wedding's going to be, if they have a planner maybe, and if you want to, you can check out johnbunfilms.com or wildoakfilms.com and just go to our contact forms on our websites on the contact page and see what we're doing. We're constantly changing them up, but again, are you guiding the couple to book you? Are you guiding the couple to book a consultation with you? That is very important on your inquiry form. Now, moving on from your inquiry form, let's say a couple does reach out to you and schedules a consultation. A lot of people at this point don't guide their couples. They just send them the pricing and hope that they will book them. They hope that they will know enough information without getting a conversation going. And I do not recommend this. This is not a great plan for you to guide your couple. And this will hurt you when you're trying to sell them or sell them more. We do have digital products all about consultations and we're not gonna go through those exactly in this video, but the idea is you do want to walk them through and them to understand that you have experience, that you're gonna help them and you're gonna be the right fit for them to have the best day possible. And when they hire you, they're making a good decision. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out our consultation guide at howtofilmweddings.com and it will help you a ton with 10 steps to really walk through a consultation. Okay, moving on from all of that stuff, you might be asking yourself like, what does this have to do with an upsell? You haven't even sold the wedding yet. I wanted to have that in the video because I really do think it's important for you to understand that the upsell begins at the very beginning. The more that people trust you, the more the people see that you are the real deal, the more they are going to open their pocketbooks when it is time. And again, I'll probably say this a hundred times during this mini course, you are not here to sell things that the couple does not need. That is wrong. You should smack yourself if that's what you're doing. Don't sell things the couple doesn't need. But the more you listen to the couple, the more you understand the couple, the more that you can offer to them as a suggestion on something that would really, really help them. So I want to dive in a little bit deeper on the initial booking. A lot of people, like I said earlier, really try to sell everything right at the beginning. I can't tell you how many weddings I've missed out on over the years because I tried to tell them everything that they needed, even though they needed it. I tried to tell them all of that in the very first meeting. You're going to need rehearsal dinner. You're going to need a hard drive. You're going to need a ceremony edit. You're going to need all these extra things. And honestly, they just at that time wanted to book a highlight film and have me cover the day. Would have they booked me? Yes, but I tried to sell them too much. And that's something I see happen too often with wedding videographers is in the initial booking, you try to do all of the selling. It's just too much for them to comprehend. You have to put yourself in their shoes. They're booking all kinds of things. And instead, when you're in your consultation and you're in the initial booking, you could say something like this. Hey, I know you're booking a lot of things right now. I know video is really important to you. So why don't we do this? I think we should book this package. This is going to cover hours for the day. It's going to officially book me. It's going to get you that highlight film you want. It's going to get you that aerial footage. There may be things we need to add on as we get closer, but we just don't know those yet because you don't know your timeline. You don't know how many hours you're really going to need, but 
extra hours of coverage are this much an hour and we can always add things later. We have plenty of time and we will meet as we get going through this and as you start learning your timeline so you can add those things later. What does that do for the couple? They have been guided by you on what to do next and you've made a very easy step for them to go ahead and book you. Now, this whole mini course is worth it just for that one bit of information if you really take that to heart. Guide them, see what they need today, and tell them they might be needing some things moving forward, but they don't have to book those right on the spot. Then, clearly explain the process of how it's going to work moving forward. And I'll get into that later in this mini course. All right, that is where I'm gonna stop the video today. I hope you got a nice taste of what that new guide is all about. Hopefully it's gonna help you. If you haven't already, be sure to check out completeweddingvideography.com. As I release this video, there's only a few days left to join our course. If not, still head on over to the same link so that you can grab a free section of our course and get on our wait list. Again, thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up on this video and until next time, we'll see ya.